beautiful thematic material. Cool. Cool. I had no idea. There's a music theory for the day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have got, gotten lots of uh, epic information from you today, man. <laughs> I guess so. So that's awesome. And that was Summers Aaron 3's piano mod. You should totally check it out. Make your own uh, songs in Overgrowth. Dude. A song totally. editor in Overgrowth. Who would have known? <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to the next segment. Actually, before we do that, um, I am uh, sorry. We should actually check out some other stuff. Because there have been some just smaller stuff going on here as well. Like, let's just go back one more page to make sure I'm not missing anything. For instance, Endo Perez has been making uh, a set of Warhammers here. As you can see, so three models here, uh, three different uh, Warhammers. And uh, he invites anyone to try your uh, try texturing the middle one here, actually. And he supplies you with, uh, with the... Uh, you know, the other fights you need, like the actual model, and uh, he actually UV mapped it as well, if I recall co correctly from reading this post. So you can just download that and uh, make your own texture for it. And that's very awesome. I mean, sometimes you don't feel like making a whole model and then texture it, you might just want to texture something. And uh, if that is you, then here you go. Yeah. And if we scroll down a bit more here, uh, we can see Endo Perez, um, he made it a sword. And uh, I'm actually, I actually have that in the game right now, so let's uh, pick it up, actually. Wow. Uh, bling, bling. And there you go. It's a sword. It's a long sword. I love this. I love this sword. I think he based it uh, on, a, on a real sword. It's actually not exactly aligned right there but it's pretty good anyways and you can of course kill enemies with this like you can with the uh, dog broadsword and the bastard sword I think they are called well that's pretty awesome yes indeed yes indeed so the, the, yeah it's really just really really cool people making weapons for the game already and just admiring this weapon it looks so awesome so well done in the Paris. I hope uh, you'll be continuing making more weapons in the future. So let's scroll down. Okay. He so. says he guesses he'll have to fix the, the misaligned portion of it. Yes. yes in IRC. Will. Yes, you will have to do that, Endo. Endo Paris. And here we have Psy, or XXSIXX. Tried my best so far with the texturing, not finished though. So he uh, tried doing the texturing of this uh, hammer up there. Mm -hmm. Let's open this image in a new tab. And as you can see, he's got some pretty hardcore texturing going on right there. And uh, he's uh, doing this uh, almost entirely in Photoshop and Crazy Bump, I think he used. So very well done so far, but it's still a work in progress. So hopefully we will see uh, a, the finished version perhaps in the next Overgrowth Weekly. That would be cool. And that's that for those small smaller things. Next up, let's go to the Twitter news segment, where we take a look at the latest tweets and uh, blog posts from the uh, from the team. First, we have a wolf sound effects video blog post uh, where um, Talpio uh, have made a video, another video. He has made a video before, uh, actually, but he has made another one demonstrating how he made some of the wolf attack sound effects. So let's check that out right here, man. Let's check it out.
And uh, there you go. Yeah, this video, man. I love the <laughs> bunny <laughs> death scene thingy at the end. The crime scene. The chalk scene. outline. Yeah. yeah. It's super yep. duper awesome. <laughs> it's pretty hilarious. And uh, um, yeah, this video in general, just very interesting in my opinion. I love these kinds of videos uh, because, well, you get to see where the sounds are from. I mean, it's just, of course, it's interesting. <laughs> that's, yeah. what, that's what you're always thinking in some video games. Like, huh, I wonder where that sound comes from. Like, how, how do right. they make that? And uh, there you go, man. Yep. It's a pineapple. Yeah, it's a pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> That's, everything's a pineapple. Everything's a pineapple. Pretty much. It's funny, I think I I think it's just pineapple. Yeah. Well, and that and a real wolf running through the woods smashing trees. Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, I love that he finds those great scenes and kind of you know he doesn't come out and just tell you what he's doing he's kind of showing things you know he he is in a way showing you what he's doing and in a way he's not and it's it's a cool combination of the two of them yeah, yeah i uh, like but what what do you mean he's i mean by showing it on the video he is showing how he does it but you mean he doesn't explicitly explain exactly how he's doing it he's just showing it is that what you mean correct correct so so you know it you know he's 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 not explaining this is the sound i use this is how i did it you know he is you know he's showing you the end result over things where you all you hear is his sounds and and he leaves certain things like the wolf running at the beginning he leaves that to your imagination showing pictures of crazy big footprints and the broken tree and things like that you know the whole beginning is this sound effect sort of montage and um and it's very cool how he you know how he shows that off i think yeah i agree it's he yeah it's almost artistic it's not as you say it's a uh, it's a very fun way to 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 see it it's not like a, a just a list of okay this sound is made like this this is made like this it's more this it's more uh, presented in a fun way so it's much easier to just look at it and you know enjoy it exactly even if you're not really interested it's still you know fun to watch so that's that's really nice, but uh, <laughs> I mean, who is not interested in this? Like, dude. <laughs> yeah. So that's that. You can check it out whenever you want in the Wolfire blog. Let's move on though to the next one. Flail animation improvements. So this is a tweet by David. He says toned down the flail animation and added some random modulation to its strength. Yeah, as I said, um, he is. Uh, Doing some a bit more work on the flame animation for next week, so hopefully we will see this in next week's alpha. And next, battle voices. No fan consensus about the voice at all. Seems like a roughly even split between growly rabbits, cute rabbits, human voice, and Lugar chirps. So there are the growly rabbits, the cute rabbits, the human voice, and the Lugaru chirps. They can all be yeah, heard it, in that video, as I said, so, yeah, what were you going to say? Uh, it just means that no matter what, three quarters of the people are going to be disappointed <laughs> with what <laughs> yeah. they decide. It's a lose-lose situation. Oh, crap. Unfortunately. Yeah. Way to not make up the minds for the developers, people. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Well, uh, so which one do you think is best? Um, uh, you know... I like the I like the animal sounds in combat. Um I'm not sure which of the animal sounds I'm happiest with. I think the the Lugaru chirps are kind of cool in a retro way, but I don't think that they they follow suit with the improvements of everything else in the game. Um but I'm not totally blown away with the new rabbit sounds yet. I think that there's I think that they're some kind of rabbit sound will be cool, but I don't think we're quite there yet. Yeah, I don't know. I 
I'm incredibly split on this. Like the the Luguru sounds, uh, do, I don't like the Luguru sounds. Rogoth, they sound, they sound like Luguru, and Rogoth supposed to sound like Rogoth. They just don't fit to me. Um, but um, when it comes to the growly rabbits, the cute rabbits, and the human voice, they all sound pretty damn good to me in their own ways. I mean, 